Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Oh, man, I'd like to be there. Good morning, afternoon, evening, as the case may be in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zen Archer with my funky glasses and my unshaven face. Yeah, my, my, uh, my beard trimmer died on me uh, like a week ago. Not the trimmer itself. It still works good. The problem is that the uh, battery charger is fucked up. <sighs> Just goes to show it's always something. I was watching Little Big Daddy talking about shopping and and uh, using the self checkout. I never do the self checkout. Um, I kind of have a funny feeling about that. Yeah, I remember when you pulled into a gas station. A guy came out of a little building. And not only pumped your gas, but he also washed your window, checked your battery fluid and stuff if you wanted him to. Didn't charge anything extra for it. Um, uh, good old Texaco days. Remember to put a tiger in your tank? Yeah. The old days. Today you go to McDonald's, and if you go through the drive through and you order your coffee... They'll give it to you in a nice cup with a straw, and they'll mix it for you, and they'll put it in a carrier, and you can put it on the floor of your car so you can drive home without spilling it. But if you go inside, they'll charge you extra money, hand you a cup, and you can get your own. They charge you more to take care of yourself. Doesn't make sense. Well, because you're sitting in, in, their, in their place, right? I don't know. Doesn't make sense. Costs more. And they do less. I go to the bank I go to because when I walk in the door, they know my name. Before I give them my card and they look it up on the computer. Hey, Poe, what's up? Good to see you. How you feeling? It's always nice to be recognized. At least friendly just moved my insurance from one company to the other for exactly that reason because uh, uh, the guy that I originally started my insurance with I, I, I insure with Allstate and uh, Don Kramer was the guy that I originally started uh, buying insurance from and that guy when my father was uh, had hospice and was staying at home and my mother needed to go out and get groceries Don would come by the house and sit in the front yard with my dad while my mom went to the grocery store. He just took the time out of his day. He's a friend of the family. It was just one of the things Don did. Now, he was a nice guy, but also it was good business. I like those people. So when I call Allstate and I say, hey, this is Poe, they bring my account up right away. They know who I am. They know, they know what name to type in <coughs> to get to me. And they ask me if I'm going to pay the same things I did last time, use the same card. They don't even ask me for the number. They just go ahead and do it. And they, they print out a receipt and hand to me because they know I'm going to want one. I like that kind of service. I like that kind of friendly relationship. I pissed some people off through my little my little cancer thing and, and poor little me thing. Some people, I don't mean to piss people off, but uh, I'm always honest. Uh, I'll tell you exactly what I think and why. And sometimes I shouldn't. Sometimes I should just keep my opinions to myself. But I've never been made of that kind of cloth. So I was telling a friend of mine the other day, I'm like, I feel sorry for people that work nine to fives. <laughs> I feel sorry for them. They, of course, feel sorry for me. Or their attitude is that I should just go get a job. Just go get a fucking job. Well, first of all, I can't just go get a fucking job. No longer am I able to do that. But I'm not afraid of work. I've done work, and what I do is probably more difficult than what most of them do in order to make ends meet. I get up in the morning, I drink my coffee on the front porch, and I watch the uh, watch the robins pull worms out of the ground for breakfast and feed their babies. And uh, I feel a connection with them somehow. We're just, we're just animals on the earth surviving. And I watch my neighbor 
drag his ass out of the house. You can see the despair in him as he walks to his van. And he's gone ten hours. He comes back home. He drags, even worse, he, he's all hunched over and he drags his ass in the house. And in a little while, you'll see him on the front porch with a bowl of stew or something and sitting at a TV table. Remember, love? He sits there with his TV table and eats his stew with his dogs beside him, his cat. And he owns his own home. He's got a nice motorcycle, and uh, I think his work van is his regular transportation. And I feel sorry for him that every day he has to get up and do that. Um, when, uh, you know, I spend much less money than him. I don't have the money to spend, but I spend much less money than him. And uh, I mosey around to make him what money I need to make. Um, because I have to work when I can work, when I'm well enough to do so. I haven't been well enough to do so uh, recently, uh, aside from the cancer and all that other new information and new bills coming in. Uh, but my hospital visit uh, came in at uh, $22,800 uh, for uh, a night in the hospital, emergency room tests. Oh, no, the tests were separate. Uh, the the x-ray alone was $800. And the Flomax, uh, uninsured, from CVS is $200.01. Um, yeah. So I did not hit my mark and make rent. It was due yesterday. I'm going to try to get some more money today and go sell some stuff or try to sell some stuff get some more money today but I'm about $200 short on rent I'm going to give my my landlord half $200 and ask him for a couple of weeks to get the rest of course in a couple of weeks I've got to make a lot more money because then that only leaves me two weeks to make 450 for next month now, I'm signed up for Medicaid and stuff, and that should take care of that. They'll get me on SSI or whatever. But until that comes through, and the wheels of progress move slow, until it goes through, I still got to do what I got to do in order to make a living. But I'll do it as, as I do it, and I'll take my bumps as I get them. That's all you can do. Also, piss some people off about the way I've decided to deal with this cancer thing. Uh, my decision is, for those of you who don't know, um, that I'm going to uh, just maintain. Uh, I'm going to try to reduce the prostate through medicine. I'm going to try to get my my uh, circulatory system cleaned up a little bit. I'm still going to keep smoking, but I'm going to you know do what I can in order to get my circulatory system better. Maybe do some more exercises. And uh, I'm just going to going to live my time. I I don't want my life to be what time I've got left, however long that is, 10 years, 15 years, or 2 years, whatever it is. I don't want it, my life to be uh, wrapped up in hospitals and being sick and throwing up and losing my hair. And <sighs> so I'll just maintain. I'll just stay comfortable and, and I'll live my life and, and uh, I'll live with the uh, ailments that I have, the bone spurs in my hip and the, the bladder and prostate cancer and heart disease and I'll just do the best I can and when I go I go and uh, I've had a pretty good run so that's where I'm at with that if you want to help as always PayPal is uh, Mr. Zunarcher at gmail.com uh, drop whatever you can in the kitty I appreciate it you're not required to I don't expect you to uh, I'm going to hold it against you but if you want to it would help so what else is going on? Um, watch, did I say, did I mention Lovely Yeti and the the thing with the drinks and McDonald's? I think I did. I, mean, I was thinking about Christianity yesterday, and uh, you know, the, the Christianity their whole uh, their whole game, their whole story is just keep at it, just just work through it, just just survive it, you know, just struggle. If you go in the Bible and you read any story in the Bible, it's all about the struggling and suffering that the people go through on their way to, you know, heaven after they die and getting the reward from God and Jesus. 
Just keep going, and when you're dead, you'll get a reward. I'm kind of Eastern in my philosophies. I believe in karma, and I believe in instant karma, not karma in the next life. I don't believe there is a next life. So, I do what I'm supposed to do. And I know that it's not a fair world, and that doesn't mean that I'm going to get anything, but I've been lucky. In most cases, when I really need something, it's, it's provided. And if it's not provided, then I probably didn't really need it. And I move on. I'm comfortable that way. I hope you're comfortable with whatever you believe. Whatever it is. Good on you. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, until next time, as always, you be well and careful. This is Zen. Uh,